Game of the year. The first God of War. Oh yeah, that came out, right? I mean, this one's obvious, bro, right? This one's fucking obvious. <laughs> Dying Light 2. Lol. Alright, Game of the Year, Elden Ring, no shit. VR Game of the Year. I didn't play any of these, no no vote. Labor of Love, Dota, the game that has been out for a while. The team is very... Is well past the debut of their creative baby, but being the good parents they are, these devs continue to nurture and support their creation. Dota 2, Project Zomboid, No Man's Sky, Deep Rock Galactic, Cyberpunk. <clears throat> I mean, I revisited Cyberpunk. It was nice, despite, you know, the fucking shit going on. I mean, I'd say No Man's Sky is always going ham. They're always updating the shit out of their game, you know? Dota 2, sure. I'd say No Man's Sky. Better with friends. These are some games out there that just aren't the same when you play by yourself. And maybe you need to have a friend to watch your back. Maybe you need to have a friend that you can stab in their back. Raft, ready or not, Monster Hunter Rise, Multiverses, Call of Duty. Oh, really? I mean, Ready or Not is pretty fucking sick. Ready or Not's kind of like a solid, not like any other game, game. Just due to the uniqueness, I'd go with Ready or Not. Outstanding visual style. Visual style doesn't aspire to real world graphical fidelity. Describes a distinctive look and feel that suffuses an entire game. Scorn, Bendy. Oh yeah, Bendy was kind of cool. Cult of the Lamb. Remember that game? Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Kina, Bridge of Spirits. The fuck? Kina, September 26th? Oh, but th did this come out on Steam late? So this is weird, actually. Some of these are like last year games. I'd say Scorn or Cult of the Lamb. In terms of replayability and overall gameplay, um... Tied into visual style, I'd give it to Cult of the Lamb, where Scorn literally only had visual style. That's all it had. This is visual style, plus actually, like, way more to do in the game. Scorn, I mean, was, like, all-out visual. I mean, fine. Scorn was all-out visual. If we're talking, if this is only talking about visual style, fine. Scorn, I mean, it, it clearly is. I wouldn't say Cult of the Lamb had a visual style that was like... I mean, it did look sick. It was a cool looking game. Kino was more of like a last year though. Not this year. It was clean. It was clean, dude. Um, nah, nah, Kino was last year, bro. I'd say Scorn, you know, just from visuals alone, if we're stripping away gameplay and everything else and only looking at visual style, I'll give it to Scorn. If that is it, what I'm staring at when I look, I use my fucking eyeballs. I'll go with Scorn. Most innovative gameplay, Mountain Blade 2, Tear Down, Stray, Neon White, Dome Keeper. Oh, yeah, Dome Keeper was actually a sick game. The designers of this game are at the front lines of creative experimentation, bringing a fresh perspective and brain-breaking surprise at the game, delighted, inspired, and entertained with newness never played before. I would say no to Mountain Blade, even though it's a good game. I'd say this is between Tear Down and Dome Keeper, to be honest. Um, yes, I would, I would give it to tear. I think I'd give it to tear down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd give this one to tear down. Best game you suck at. This is the game that rewards persistence and is not for the faint of heart. It's the toughest game we've ever loved. GTFO. Did this officially come out this year? All right. 2021 December. 
Victoria 3, Total War Warhammer, Elden Ring, FIFA. I mean, the only relatable game here to me is going to be Elden Ring. All the other ones are like, eh. Best Soundtrack, Metal Hellsinger, Sonic Frontiers, Final Fantasy VII, Persona 5, Hatsune Miku? What the fuck is this list? What the fuck is this? What? Best Soundtrack? Bro, this has to be some troll shit. I mean, Sonic Frontier's soundtrack was pretty solid. Never played Final Fantasy VII. Really didn't play a lot of Mel Metal Health Singers, so I really can't say much. I don't, I don't know about this one. I guess I, I can't vote here, man. I can't vote here. I can't do it. I can't do it. Outstanding story, rich game. Some days only a narrative heavy game will hit the spot and this one packs a wallop. It's a gripping uh, as any soap opera as well as tuned uh, as well tuned as a prestige TV screenplay. A Plague Tale, God of War, Uncharted, Stanley Parable, Spider-Man. This is such an odd list. I mean, Stanley Parable was great in terms of like, you know, once again, there's not a game like this. God of War had its moment. This is just here because it's a PC release. Uncharted's already had its moment. This is just a PC re-release. Same with Spider-Man. Three re-releases. Even Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is a re-release, isn't it? With, like, more shit to do. So I'm going to give it to a Plague Tale here in this category. All these other ones had their fucking moments. Sit back and relax. This game is the antidote to a busy day. It's smooth, it's relaxing, lets your worries melt away. Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga, Power Wash Simulator, Dreamlight Valley. This game was surprisingly not bad. Dwarf Romantic, Slime Rancher 2. I, I would say Dwarf Romantic is just like a cool, extremely cozy game. But then Power Wash Simulator was such a solid concept, and it's like... Also, just a solid-ass game, too. Um, I didn't play a lot of Slime Rancher 2, but it's the same gist as Slime Rancher. Probably with just more shit to do in it. So, I'd say it's between P Power Wash Simulator and Dwarf Romantic. <clears throat> um, in terms of the antidote to a busy day, smooth, relaxing, and lets your worries melt away, this is your... This game is super zen. Uh, I, I guess I'd give it to Dwarf with a very... I mean, I have more I have more hours in Power Wash Simulator. I would not say this is a bad game. I'll give it to Dwarf, though. <clears throat> Best game on the go. This game was so good, you wanted to take it everywhere. So you did, and luckily everything that made it endlessly playable at your desk got even better on the go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Vampire Survivors Death Stranding? The fuck? Brotato Marvel Snap. I really got addicted to Marvel Snap for a bit, but then I just like I haven't played in a long time. Uh this game's solid. But then like Brotato is a really, really good vampire survivors inspired game. Like straight up, this is one of the this is easy top five vampire survivors. Easily. It's so good. But I'm going to give it to Vampire Survivors because they're the ones that made the genre fucking pop. For sure. For sure. Brotato is so good. Vampire Survivors deserve shit, man. Can you hear me? Observation skills. This is just like box art. I hope this reaches you. This city is falling apart. Chaos. Madness. Death. And there might be no going back. But you can change that. It depends on the choice you make. Truth or lie. 
Nog? Who's that? Oof. The environment. That that all looks pretty sick. Too much of you. But I don't have a choice. Yeah, does P does P talk? Finally, we meet, son. The stage is set. <laughs> the light shines brightest in the darkest of times. All right, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Of a bee. Your destiny. I mean, shit, dude. I think that looks kind of sick. We saw this? No, we didn't. This just came out 16 hours ago. Oh, I just realized I came live and I didn't get tissues. God damn it. Are these like four bosses you're supposed to kill or some shit? Wait, are these the asshole kids from Pinocchio? Box. Liar. Yeah, I don't I don't get that part. <laughs> I don't get that part. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's going to be a solid ass game. I'm looking forward to that one. Was there a release date for this <coughs> finally or what? Yeah, I think that this isn't just like a. This isn't just like a random ass souls born. I feel like this is like a, a really well built one. Just 2023. Well, shit, I guess we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I like that one, dude. I like that one. Despair FR. I like that one. Oh, that's a good one, man. <laughs> Wilka made it. I know. Wilka's talented, dude. Motherfucker's even making a video game. That's what I like to see. I want to see one of my viewers make a video game that goes ham on Steam. Thousand plus reviews. What was the other game's name? Uh, The fan game. <coughs> <laughs> what was it called? But I'm talking about one that hits the masses. Oh, yeah. You know? Lost in Malol. Uh, you know... I don't know, dude. Sometimes the games, like... Even if they're free, you know... Of course, you know, of course, very positive 69 reviews. Like, of course. Like, what the fuck? <clears throat> like we got this but it's like i don't know aren't there like steam players who just like browse steam and might download some uh free games 
you know? Like, come on, dude. It's hard to get out there. I know, but Steam is bloated, but how much free-to-play shit is out there? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, I don't know. What's the other one that you're making? Or what's the one you're making, uh, Wilka? I still hope it does well. Why, yes, I do. Observation skills, a great job. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, so it's a, it's a good... I don't know. I, I want to see how it plays out. I've played every single Vampire Survivor style game, so this one looks like it's going to be up there as a really solid one, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm still not bored of those games either. I'm still waiting for the next one, the next one. I'm waiting for the AAA dev. You know, the fact that Phil Spencer played the shit out of Vampire Survivors, you know, he's like, yo, how the fuck have we not done this? He definitely has some team dedicated to making a fucking triple-A version of this shit. Guaranteed. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. I, I don't know if anything happened with the Diablo 4 thing on Thursday. Was it like an alright presentation? Did they say anything new? Or was it kind of like the same shit? Season pass going for three months? Oh. Oh yeah, I heard the collector's edition doesn't have the game. I don't get it. That's like so weird. It's $99 though. Oh yeah, misleading, not a traditional collector's edition. It's it's listed as Diablo 4 limited collector's box. It's not limited as collector's edition. So it's 100 bucks and you get a bunch of shit but not the game. It's like a merch box for the game. But still aren't isn't a collector's edition usually 100 bucks? The box is only listed in the Blizzard gear store. That's not that weird then. Oh yeah, it's literally listed here. I mean, if it's literally listed in the gear store where like even Frostborn is sold and shit like that. I mean, I don't know. If they were like showing this on the storefront, that would be fucking dumb. You get, what do you get though? You get a candle of creation, a cult mouse pad, cloth map of sanctuary, um, pin of the Haradrim, Diablo 4 collector's edition art book, matted fine art prints. I mean, I guess you're mainly paying for the art. How's the candle? I mean, I guess that's kind of a cool candle. But, I mean, you know, it's tiny. Yeah, I mean, for a hundred bucks, I mean, shit, you're mainly... You, the mouse pad's tiny. What the hell? Really? You'd think it would be like a mouse pad that fits your, um... Like your, like one of the fucking rectangle ones. Who uses mouse pads like this size anymore? You'd think it would be like a big-ass table one. Yeah, I think you're really paying for the art book. But, like, yo, if they're not really showing this on their front page, like, I think the biggest confusion is people people instantly hear collectors and assume it's the collector's edition. So, honestly, at the same time, it is Blizzard's fault for naming it the fucking collector's box when, in gaming, collector is usually the collector's edition which is like the fucking big mambo jumbo if you want to go all in on a game. They shouldn't have fucking named it Collector's Box. That's dumb. They should have just named it something else and then the confusion wouldn't be there. <laughs> Blizzard's weird, bro. I swear they like shooting themselves in the foot on purpose. I feel like they do stuff that's like, did you guys even like talk about this <laughs> it's like guys did you even like think about this for a second 